Hi, I'm Pat Horn, the STEM coordinator at the Lakeshore Museum Center, and like many of you, I'm also stuck at home. So what I'm going to bring you today is some pretty simple, basic science stuff that you can do at home with things you have lying around that should be fun and also educational. And joining me today is Tegan, our special guest star. Say hi, Tegan. Hi. So for today's experiment, you're going to need some vinegar. Uh, you'll need some rocks, so if you're ever going to the beach and collected some rocks, or shells too will work really well. Uh, you'll want some clear glasses. A uh, straw, and you might also want a plate to put this on just to keep your mess um, nice and safe. Okay, you're going to join us for our experiment? So, what you're going to do first of all is take your vinegar and you're going to fill in some of the glass with it, just so we've got about that much or so in each one. And we'll just set that over to the side for the moment. And then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two of our uh, rocks here. So I'll take this one right here, which has got a little seashell in there that you can see. And then we've got another rock with some different stripes on it. And what we're just going to do, Tegan, is we're going to test out what these rocks are made of. So I'm going to take a little bit of vinegar in my straw and I'm going to put it on top of these rocks. And now, Tegan, I want you to put your ears up to them. So first of all, this one right here, our striped one, do you hear anything? No. No? All right, try our other one now. No. No, you're not hearing anything? So I can hear a little bit of bubbling on this one, a little fizz to it. It's not too loud, though. Uh, but what we're doing is we're actually testing for what these are made out of. If they are made out of something called calcium carbonate, which a lot of things like shells are, or even certain type of rocks like limestone, which is what this is here, it'll react with the vinegar, uh, much like baking soda and, and vinegar. Have you ever seen that before? Makes the volcanoes mm -hmm. and all phones up. Yeah. So what I'm going to have you do, Tegan, is I'm going to have you pick three of these and set them in our glasses of vinegar, and we'll see if they're going to react with the vinegar. Now, if they do, we should start to see it bubbling. So pick your three. And you just want to be really careful setting it in your glass, just not to break or chip your glass. Yep, you can set it, slide it right down. Just let it go, sit in there. Yep, just let it go. And take a shell. And let's try out to this one here. And if you look at our middle rock, you can see that one's already starting. You can see those little bubbles coming out. So what's happening is the vinegar is starting to eat away at this calcium that the shell and this rock here are made out of, and it's going to release it as this carbon dioxide gas. Like you see with baking soda and vinegar, I can see this shell here starting to bubble up a little bit. And so you can test out all the different rocks that you have. If they're made from um, limestone, they'll start to bubble like our middle rock is here. If they're made out of different material, this you'll get bubbling. no reaction. Yeah, you can see that shell bubbling. So animals like um, oysters will produce calcium carbonate to make their shell, and that's why these seashells will bubble up too. Hopefully you enjoyed that experiment. We'll see you later.